your bow stroke. Now I told you in, in our previous lesson that the bow grip is the most important part of your playing, and it, it really is. The beginner bow grip that I taught you, the flat of the thumb, the side of the finger, the thing that you're gonna have to keep fighting for some time. Every time your hand wants to do this, make sure you extend that index finger. Now, if that's the most important part of your playing, the second most important part of your playing is your bow stroke. It's how we push and pull the bow across the string. We pull and push. The bow across the string. Let me tell you about another reason that I have a job. Just as you might presume, the student might presume that we grab the stick like this. <clears throat> when you see the, the radius of the bridge and the way it goes like so, the student might presume that the bow follows that same pattern or that same direction across the string. Well, if it did that, what would it sound like, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, not so good. <laughs> so we can't do that. We're gonna have to fight that thought because that's not correct. What we have to do is pull and push the bow with one angle, one direction across the string. And what I like to think about is my elbow. When I think about my elbow, <clears throat> I think about my elbow sort of even telegraphing what string I'm on. If my elbow's up, I'm on the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string. So my elbow is very helpful with that and keeping my bow stroke on one string at a time. Because again, it's gotta be straight against that string. It cannot follow a curved path. The stroke has to be on a straight path. And in order to do that, you'll find that I, my bow stroke comes from the elbow, of course, and never from the shoulder. It can't come from the shoulder. And you'll find that the wrist flexes and extends to facilitate the bow stick moving straight. You know, just moving through, through space. It has to be straight. So my wrist flexes. Extends, extends, and flexes. Always from the elbow. Hmm? Never from the shoulder. If, and this is sort of the third reason that Mike has a job. <laughs> if you mistakenly bow from your shoulder, it's gonna go in this motion, another curved path, and it'll curve horizontally. And that's gonna end up looking and sounding a lot like this. Ah! Ah! Not good. Yeah, some of you may have experienced that already. And that's because, my friends, your shoulder is involved in your bow stroke. It's no bueno, we cannot do this. Your shoulder cannot be involved. So, if you find it difficult, I have good news for you. There are aftermarket helpful contraptions that you can purchase that fit on your fiddle. They clamp there and they'll have a, like two pieces of wire 
that go across that hold the bow in the same channel in the same path. Um, some people use it, they fashion their own homemade bow guide and they put a drinking straw in the top of each F hole. I do not recommend that. Mike does not recommend sticking things in the F hole, but some folks do. Uh, if you do, please be careful. Other people will maybe have a friend or a family member hold their arm, hold their arm right here to immobilize that upper arm. You could also stand maybe next to a doorway or yeah, a doorway or a, a column or a, a pillar of some type or a tree and put that upper arm against that solid object and keep the bow stroke. There's another exercise that I do with some advanced students, and that's to put the arm all the way in to the side of the body and to still play. All of these things are ideas to help you practice immobilizing the upper arm and to use the lower arm from the elbow to the wrist. Now, when you have this straight bow stroke, you have continuity of tone. There's nothing that's going to interrupt the sound that your string is making as your bow flows smoothly across each string. So here's a little exercise. The same four strings, the same four bow strokes. This time we'll do them, we'll, we'll, we'll count. We'll give each one two beats. One, two, one, two. And we'll make sure that we are as straight as we can be, like a parallel line between the line of the fingerboard, the line of the bridge, and the line of the bow. You ready? One, and let's we'll start with the G string again, elbow high. One, two, or you know what to do. Very good. Now that you're playing all four strings very confidently with a good bow stroke and a good bow grip, well, it's time to learn how to read our notes and to start playing some music. <laughs> 